Did I ever tell you about that time in public school when I, I stole that kid's lunch and... Buried it in the sandbox? Yeah. I was the kid. Oh. Hey, I wonder who invented the salt shaker. Probably someone named Wendy Salt or, or uh, Sally Shaker, huh? <laughs> now you're just forcing it. I can't believe we've run out of conversation. Well, it was inevitable. We've known each other 35 years. We're bound to run out of things to say. Yeah, but not like this. I mean, I haven't even finished my first beer. Okay, easy. Let's just ride this out. I'm sure we'll come up with something. I mean, I got nothing. Hey, remember that time you stole my lunch and buried it in the... Oh, yeah. See that? A mouse just ran across the floor. It was as big as a gopher. Well, if he was as big as a gopher, you know what he might have been. It wasn't a gopher. I know the difference between mice and gophers, jackass. I was going to say squirrel. It was a mouse. It's the biggest mouse I've ever seen. Did it have boxing gloves on and bounce up and down? That mistake's been made before. What are you talking about? It was a mouse. And I'm going to catch it. Oh, father. This could really catch on. Hey guys, what could catch on? Well, the other night we were kind of bored, so we invented a new game. An avoiding work type of game? More of a general knowledge kind of game, to see how much you know, generally. Yeah, each player gets asked questions, not important questions, just random, unimportant, almost trivial questions. Questions with very little relevance in the real world. And you try to answer correctly, and when you do, you get a little wedge. And when you answer them all correctly, the wedges form a little circle, like a... Like a cake. No, more like a... Wheel of cheese. No. Pizza? No, more dessert-like. Problem is, Brent and I would be unbeatable at the game because we know too much stuff. Well, I don't know about your game, but it sounds a lot like Trivial Pursuit. Trivial what? Trivial Pursuit, the game. Never heard of it. You looking for the mouse, too? No, I hurt my back. Because Brent asked me to stack a bunch of wiper fluid. Hey, could you stack these? I'm busy. Oh! He thinks he can push me around. Who? The mouse? I stopped talking to you. Right. We don't want to scare the mouse. If Trivia Pursuit were real, we would have heard of it. And she probably overheard us talking. She's copying our game. Trivial Pursuit. Everybody's heard of it. It, it sold like a zillion, kajillion copies. Those aren't even real numbers. Yeah, what a giveaway. Hey, could we get a skillion, prillion cups of coffee, please? <laughs> Seriously, more coffee? Yeah, just two, though. Uh... Hey, Wanda. You okay? Oh, yeah. I find it relaxing to lay my face on the counter and groan like a harp seal. Harp seals don't groan. Harp seals harp. My back is killing me. Do me a favor. Empty two bottles of ibuprofen into my mouth and grab me a root beer. Pills should be a last resort. Here, I studied a bit of physiotherapy. Maybe I can help you. No, with... I don't want any. Oh, 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 oh. That was a harp seal. Hey, Oscar. How's it going? What's that look like I'm doing? I never asked you what you were doing. I asked you how it was going. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm buying mouse traps. Those are the kind that kill the mouse. You can get humane traps. Do the catch and release method. I prefer the kill and flush method. All right, then. Look at this. Trivial pursuit. What do you have to say about it now, huh? Oh, man. Way to steal our idea. Why don't you go invent your own game? Though I do admire your craftsmanship. My craftsmanship? Oh, come on, how could I have made a professionally printed board game with, with custom-fitted plastic pieces in under four hours? You got big city connections. Who knows what you can do? She even took our wedge idea. 
Don't kill the little fella. He's cute. How do you know? You've never seen him. Well, I don't have to. I can just imagine how cute he is. Little eyes, little nose, eating his cheese, tapping the keys on his little piano. What are you? Some kind of animal lover? Why? Is that a bad thing? It is when you say it like this. Animal lover? You're right. It does sound bad. Still, I got nothing against animals. I went snursed an owl back to health. There you go. You fly away, Hootie, and be free. Go, Hootie, go! Hootie did a big majestic loop and screeched goodbye. Maybe I should call him Screechy or Loopy. Bird lover. Hey, do you feel any better? I feel like you hit me in the spine with a pickaxe. Is that better or worse? Come here. Put your neck in my hands for a second. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Wanda's back was sore, so I did that back-cracking thing, you know, where you, you go behind the person and Don't touch me! You shouldn't mess around with things you don't fully understand. Rest for now. I'll whip you up a batch of paste that'll fix you right up. What kind of paste? Oh, you know, paste. I don't fully understand how it works, but it's been in the family for generations. Like some old hillbilly mud pack or something? Hillbilly? I meant pioneer. Now, this is how a pro works, Karen. You take three dollops of goop and spread it evenly like spaghetti sauce. It's burning. The warmth means it's working. I didn't say warmth. It feels like you're welding my spine. That also means it's working. What do the red blotches mean? It means it's time to shut up. What? There's blotches? Not anymore. Now your whole back is red. Ow! Now it's really burning. My skin is on fire. Jeez, I'm glad that's not me. Hey, Trivial Pursuit. Oh, so you've heard of it. Uh, yeah. I have the Genius Edition at home. It's genius. There's no I. There's an I in genius. Yeah, well, Brent and Hank haven't even heard of it. Sure they have. Hank has Trivial Pursuit Junior. He's still not very good at it. Really? Brent's had Trivial Pursuit parties at his house. Before you moved here. I think they were before you moved here. Pretend I never mentioned the parties. I have another idea for your back. No need. After the redness went down and my skin stopped burning with the intensity of a thousand suns, my back started to feel much better. That's good news. Hey, can you stack the wiper fluid? Can I ever? Great, I'll be next door. Okay. I'm just glad Karen didn't damage you with her science. That quack? No, no. It was all you and your bucket of hot crap. That crap? No, no. It was all you and your savage spine twisting. Oh, good, because I was worried Emma's thing was going to kill you. I was insane. Nope. Thanks to you, my back feels like a million bucks. Stop bragging about your back. Here's my secret. Hard candy. Most people use cheese as bait. Most people are stupid. Mice like candy. Okay, but before you do this, I'm going to show you a little reenactment of what it's going to be like for the mouse. This is the mouse. That's a breadstick. Let's pretend it's a mouse. And this is the mouse trap. What are you pretending that is? A mouse trap. Slow down. Okay, kids, I'm off to get us some food. Try and find some hard candy. Who's saying that? These kids. Oh, so there's other breadsticks. Okay, here I go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. What with me only four days from retirement. The end. Oh, no! See? It's sad, isn't it? No! Well, I was watching your stupid puppet show. The mouse stole all the candy. Oh, he's clever. Good job, Squeaky. So, I just found out something kind of neat. I don't know, you guys might find it trivial. But Karen told me you've both played Trivial Pursuit before. She's lying. Who's Karen? And you've had Trivial Pursuit parties at your house. Which I obviously wasn't invited to. Well, those were before you moved here. Huh? 
So you admit you've had Trivial Pursuit parties? No. I mean, I've had parties at my house where there were board games, some of which may or may not have involved trivia. And we, you know, we pursued the answers. It, it, a little help? No, you're doing great. You guys have been yanking my chain this whole time. Okay, ding, we're out. <laughs> she caught on at 11, 17 a.m., which means she bought it for 23 hours and five minutes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Hank and I did invent a new game, but the game we invented is called Gullibaloney. The object of the game is to see how long you can make someone believe something unbelievable, like never having heard of Trivial Pursuit before. I thought we were calling it Gullibull, like bull. No, Gullibaloney. It's why it's more fun. Gullibaloney! How's that more fun? Which one do you like better? I hate you both equally. Hey, Karen. Good news about Wanda's back. Sure is. So, no hard feelings? Why would I have hard feelings? My homemade poultice did the trick. Not according to Wanda. She said you were insane. And a hillbilly. Well, I was just talking to Wanda, and she said, and I quote, my wonderful medicine is what fixed her. Whatever primes her still, Jethro, it was my physio that fixed her. Well, she called you a quack. A stupid, quacky jerk. Her words. Doesn't look like you're feeling better. You sound like you're still in pain. Just resting with my back up against the wall. Well, if you're feeling better, let's see you stand up on your own. Fine. Ow, 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 ow. Ta-da. I knew it. You're not feeling better. Karen did this to you, didn't she? It was MMA swamp goo. You're lucky to be alive. Kind of wishing I wasn't. Do you guys want anything else? Mm. I'm craving some vanilla ice cream. Oh, sorry. I don't have any vanilla ice cream. Mm. I don't carry it here because uh, I'm deathly allergic to it. Oh yeah, you know, you know, even if a, if a little bit of vanilla ice cream comes in contact with my skin, I could die. You were eating vanilla ice cream in here yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha! I gotcha! That guy's eating vanilla ice cream right over there. You maybe need to practice this a bit. Oh, you guys, you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Can you dish out some vanilla ice cream? Have you seen my traps? No, but I see you have a hole in your pants. I'm confiscating these. You've gone skating with thieves? Potential murder weapons. I have other traps, jackass! Hey, have we got a bucket here? Or a bucket and some string? Or a box and some thread? Or some kind of container that can hold a mouse and some kind of long strand that triggers a container to catch said mouse? I'm trying to catch a mouse. I don't know, but let me try something on you. What was that? That means it's working. How do you feel? If I say good, will you let me leave? I'm going out to buy some different traps. If you see that mouse, don't kill it. It's between him and me now. It's personal. I've been working here for years and I've never seen one mouse. I think you might be wrong about this. You know, are you wrong about everything? This is just another one of those. Not this time. Okay. Go get him, killer. Bring me back some morphine. Oh. There is a mouse. Uh-uh. Don't come over here. Shoo! Get lost! Go! Jeez. You are cute. <laughs> Did you just pee on me? What's that? It's catch and release safety trap. Well, it looks like a cardboard box. That's what I want the mouse to think. It's just a cardboard box. And where's your partner, Officer Backcracker? How do you know she cracked my back? She cracked your back, too? Are you in pain? Barely felt anything. You're in shock. 
So you're saying I'm in so much pain I don't feel any pain? Exactly. Come with me. I'll mix up a batch of paste for you. Uh, maybe later. Hey, you guys enjoying your coffee? Yep. Good, well, you better enjoy it while you can, because that's the last batch there's gonna be for a while. Yep. Big embargo by all the coffee-producing nations against Canada. Apparently, they don't like our foreign policies on various things. You know, so after today, no more coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to smile and nod. Ha! I sucked you in. Sucked me into what? A conversation? I kind of think you're missing the point of the game. Not from where I'm standing. You're sitting. Ha! I sucked you in. All right, look, the, the idea of the game is to make somebody believe something for a long time. What you're doing is you're just uh, verbalizing some random fib, and then if anybody in the room makes eye contact with you, you scream, ha! Ah! Oh, okay, fine, I can play it your way, too. You know, if that's the way you... Oh, my gosh. Robbers just broke into Corner Gas, and they're getting away with your cash register. I'm going to go call the police. She has to be stopped. Every time she yells, ha, huh, she spits a little bit. I know. The whole while I was talking to her, I was dying to clean my glasses. Holy hell, what is that stink? It smells like you're boiling fish heads and gasoline. It's medicinal. It's got tea tree oil and liniment. And gasoline? Let me try a little bit of this on you. I'm not your guinea pig. Test it on yourself. I'll try a little on my wrist. It's good for arthritis. How's it feel? It's a little warm, but that means it's working. Okay, now it's really working. Now it's really, really working. Oh, I, I better wash this off. Well, what do you expect? It's got gasoline in there. Hey, Emma. Been trying your hillbilly remedies at home, I see. This has nothing to do with my medical paste. I burned it, making toast. Right. Get stuffed. Hey, Karen, I forgot my wallet. Can you go in there and pay for my pop? No, I'm still having trouble moving. Still? <laughs> Guess the last time you try lifting me. <laughs> ha! Too late, Doolittle. I just set up the ultimate mousetrap. I got it at a yard sale. Okay. I think the scuba diver has to face backward. You use that high-tech one and I'll set up one of my own. Good luck. What's this, are you guys running a daycare? Oh my God. Are you okay? No, don't touch me. It's my back. Oh, well I won't touch you then. People should not mess around with someone whose back is out. That's just stupid. Oh, you're telling me. Because anyone who would let an untrained person try and fix their back is just a brainless moron. A stupid, idiotic bonehead. Okay, you made your point. You guys, one is really hurt. Oh, really? Is there a chiropractor in town? You know what, I'm gonna go get the phone book. I know she's making this up. Wanda can't shut up about how good her back feels. At least she hasn't spit on us yet. Let's just pretend we believe her for a while so she'll think she got us. It's the only way she'll stop. Okay, you two go head over there and make sure no one moves her. Roger that. That's good medical advice. Yeah, we'll uh, head right over there because we believe you. Hey, you guys, I'm not kidding. I know. That's probably why we believe you so much. Hey, the box dropped. I caught him. I hope he's not hurt. I hate to see something suffer. Yeah, that would be too bad. Hey, little fella. You okay? <laughs> he is kind of cute. <laughs> Let's kill him. No. Fine. But only because he's a cunning adversary. And so close to retirement. But I want him run out of town. Deal. Come on, Squeaky. So I wait here then? Oh no, Hank. It appears as a Wanda's hurt. Holy smokes, you think it's her back? Yes, it's my back. 
Gosh, I thought it was cured. I was lying. Oh, she was lying. It's killing me. But just let me lie here a while. Don't touch me. No, of course not. 13, 14, 15. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. We're trying to fix Wanda's back, and it was okay all along. Yeah, you got us good this time. No need to spit in our faces anymore. Oh, you idiots. This wasn't part of that stupid game. Her back is really hurt. Oh. Really? Uh-oh. Uh I should call a doctor. Yeah, because she's going to kill us. No one's going to kill you. I should give you a beating out of principle, but I won't. Because my back's feeling better. Are you sure you're okay? I don't know what these morons did, but it fixed my back. I knew it would. I actually spent seven years in Tibet studying with monks. Oh, and... shut up. All right, then. So long, soldier. Take care, little fella. Hope you find a lot of cheese out there. They actually prefer candy. So long, Squeaky. May the wind always be at your back. And may... Holy no! 